is Doug from Price Shack, and in this video, I'm going to give you the really fast instructions for getting up and running with Price Shack. If you're using other software and it's having problems repricing or ordering, and you want to come over to Price Shack to keep your store running, this is the video for you. There's four steps. First, you're going to create an account with Price Shack. Then you're going to link your store. That's your eBay store, your Shopify store, wherever you're selling. Then you need to tag your listings. This is the process of telling Price Shack what the source market items are. So like what the Amazon ID is, for example, for each of your items uh, so that it knows what to reprice and order against. And finally, you're going to enable repricing and auto ordering and of course, disable them on your old software. So let me walk you through how this works. The sign up process, you'll go to priceshack.com, click start free, start free now. And it's totally free for two weeks. You get a, a free trial for all features. So no reason not to sign up and you don't even need a credit card. We just send you an invoice um, once we do start billing you and uh, you can pay it however you like at that time. Once you make the account, you will be taken to that add store page. You'll click this drop down and select your store. If you're selling on eBay.com, click eBay US. If you're selling on Shopify, Amazon or WooCommerce, then you'll see instructions for how to join. Those are beta programs. So you will need to email us just to um, so that we can give you a slot in the beta before you'll be able to add those. Um, let's say you're adding an eBay.com store, then you'll hit continue and we'll take you over to eBay where you'll authorize Price Shack to access your eBay account. Okay, once you've linked your store, you'll be taken to the main Price Shack dashboard. And the first thing you need to do is tag your listings. So go to fix problems, then track unknown slash untagged listings. And here you'll see a list of all of your untagged listings. So uh, in this store, you'll see there's two items that I'm selling that Price Shack doesn't know what it corresponds to on Amazon or wherever this product is coming from. There's two ways to tag these. The first is to just, uh, the first way is to click the market here and then paste or type in the product ID. So for example, on, um, on this, on this product, this is the ASIN, and you can paste it in here. And then as I click away, you'll see product ID updated. So now Price Shack knows what that item is. If you have hundreds or thousands of listings, this would be very tedious. So you wanna click this blue bulk tag listings button. And now you'll need to upload a spreadsheet that has the item ID, the source, and the product ID at the source. You can ignore all these other options. These are for bulk changing other settings. Um, it's going to be really helpful to download the sample file here. Uh, download the sample file and then hopefully from your old software you can export these pairings uh, where it'll say your eBay item IDs and then their corresponding ASINs if it's an Amazon item or Walmart IDs or whatever it is. And chances are if you're just sourcing from one place you'll just have the same value in the middle column like you might have Amazon all the way down if all your items are coming from Amazon. Um, once you have the file you'll upload it here and then you'll receive a confirmation down here saying whether it worked or if there were any errors. You might need to play with it to get all the formatting fixed correctly. Once your items are listed, you can go back here to, to make sure that there shouldn't be any items here, uh, or maybe there's a couple that you missed. Uh, and then you can also go to all listings here to see the items and the fact that they're tagged now with the source product. And uh, then you're ready to turn on repricing and auto ordering. So you'll go to the store settings here and simply check repricing and auto ordering, save settings, and then you're good to go. Of course, make sure you've also disabled those features in your old software because if they're both running, they'll step on each other's toes and that's not good. And of course, also, if you want to tweak how your prices are set, you'll go to the source settings here and I have other videos on how all these settings work. But that is the really fast way. It takes less than two minutes, I would say, to get up and running with Price Shack if you've got that CSV prepared. If you don't have that Excel uh, file ready to go with the tagging, then it might take you 10 minutes. Um, but it's really easy and fast to get up and running with Price Shack. So I uh, hope that helps. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below.